today is kind of a spontaneous day. First off, I'm gonna have to cash my checks. I don't know why, but as a kid, that was always the most fascinating thing. Like, I used to think that's how mail would work one day. Like, I thought one day we would just have those everywhere, like underground or something, and that we would just send things to people like that and just... Now I got my cash to explain why I'm holding $700 cash instead of just putting it into my savings like a responsible human being would. It's because I'm not responsible. I was on Facebook Messenger the other day, as I always am, and I saw this Jeep for sale. It's a Jeep XJ four-door, and it's four-wheel drive, and they're asking $1,200 for it. They said it's a two-owner no two car. It looks really clean. The interior looks good. And for only $1,200 for a running Jeep, low miles, they have over 20 people wanting to look at it right now, so I'm trying to get the cash in hand and show up maybe a little bit early. I'm gonna bring the battery from my Jeep because they said the battery is dead, and hopefully we can get it to start. That's the gamble for today, and we're gonna see how well that goes. Ah, ah. So, I got the battery out of the Jeep and then we have the cash if we show up and we can get it started and other people are planning on bringing a trailer later then that's kind of a gamble. We got coffee though. You haven't tried it yet, have you? Have you ever had the white mocha? Quite literally my favorite drink at Starbucks. We showed up like, what was it, like 15 minutes early and this guy was already there and they cranked it on, it started, it was squealing and stuff and then the guy was just like, yep, I had a pulley. Anyway, so they went inside and like, I guess that was a done deal. It kind of worked out though, I guess, because it, it was squealing and the tires were flat. Nothing I couldn't fix, but it, it wasn't in as good condition as it looked in the picture and there's another Jeep that's for sale for around the same price that actually might be in better condition than that one so I'm trying to see if we can go look at that one um, I'm pretty up about stoked up about that one but there's also a couple Hondas here for like $1,200 that we might go look at cuz yeah <laughs> the whole thing blew over so we'll see how it goes hi puppy Kai update now we got Preston back here what's up Preston ugly dumb stupid uh, we're fixing to go look at this Jeep now it's like in Tyler looks like that so it, it looks pretty good um it's got like leather interior kind of tore up but everything about it we're kind of hoping it looks good because it's like an hour away but if everything goes well we're gonna bring home a jeep cherokee a 2.9 million jeep cherokees watching tfl car lock oh and my camera keep, my phone keeps falling over not my camera My last video, when I did the whole little segment of me making coffee, I showed my mom because I thought it was cool and she said it was dumb because every time I make a video, I record. I record myself making coffee. Sam gets me making fun of me. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud today now it's awkward. I am proud to introduce to you the new member of the vlog. This 1990 Jeep XJ Limited fancy Jeep. I haven't named it yet because I don't know what to name it. Me and Preston, we just got back like 
five minutes ago. My dad was behind us, he just pulled up. Um, so we don't know what to call it yet. We're still working on it. But comment down below if you have any suggestions on the name, because I have no idea. <laughs> we got this Jeep for $1,600 and for that price it has 192,000 miles and it, uh, how old would it be now? 30 year old Jeep? 30 years old now, 2020, 30 years old, but I don't know, I really like it actually. I've always had a soft spot for XJs. I mentioned before that I considered even selling my Jeep to buy an XJ. And this one, if, if we're gonna keep it, it would definitely be a project. My plan is to just drive it around until I get my Jeep back on the road and then discover what to do with it after. Maybe resell it to either my brother or my dad. But it, it's fun, it's lots of fun actually. And so, I just drove it home, so other than me looking at it, I haven't got to explore the details, so I'm just gonna give you guys a little tour of our new friend. I like it, you like it? So you like these, but you don't like Wranglers? Yeah. Kind of, kind of a loser, honestly. <laughs> what? We actually were gonna repaint it, but I actually kind of like the paint. It's kind of got a rustic look to it. Like, I kind of like the way it looks, especially it has the original gold rims, and I think they're pretty sweet. It is four-wheel drive, which is awesome, and I checked it, and it works. Oh. Okay. The shocks are shot. So... <laughs> Easy fix, but until then, we got a board back there, and you can see the back seats. The carpet's pretty decent and stuff. It's got the spare tire, and down that goes. The back seats are in really good condition, actually. Uh, no tears, as far as I can see. My brother says they're really comfortable, but I wouldn't know because I don't sit in the back like a loser. Getting inside the driver's side where all the magic happens. The Limited, this is really funny because I usually have unluxurious options and this is really weird. It's got automatic windows on all the windows and they all work, which I was happy to hear but also surprised about. We've got this AC unit right here and it works great. I love the AC in this vehicle. Also automatic locks that actually don't work but they, it works, it just doesn't lock them so I think it's got the same problem my Jeep has. Mine's a manual. Are you going to going now? Okay. Then we're going to wait. We're taking the Jeep, what? We can? I don't know, I'm down. <laughs> well, see that was a pretty successful day overall. Sorry, it's always dark in my room when I film in here unless I get a light. So I'm just gonna finish this video off real fast. So. <laughs> oh, got a 1990 Jeep XJ. It is pretty cool actually I really like it um, I'm really excited about this actually and I'm trying to convince myself that this is going to be a temporary vehicle I'm gonna keep it stock and just drive it but okay I'm coming I'm hurrying I've got it I'm coming hurry wait why didn't you eat pizza the last two times okay doesn't matter well hi puppy puppy's excited puppy Kai's excited because he's gonna get to go on a ride for it in it and Jeep got it and I will post more about my Wrangler and then the new XJ that I still need to name. So we gotta go. Bye guys.